Hey, I'm Gunnar Peterson. I am going to be reviewing and critiquing the viral handstand t-shirt challenge. Let's get going. So bringing it all the way up like that, it's a lot of energy spent. You got to come back to the floor. No reward for that risk. I like that you're keeping your body straight, smart. It's a long time. It's a long time holding that overhead press because that's what that is. Good widening the feet, smart move, solid brace, good base. Score the basket. So breaking this down, right out of the gate, he goes big with that left arm swing up there, almost like he was trying to throw on a button down in a regular standing position and that's not gonna pay off. You gotta regroup. Feet are narrow there, you should widen out the feet. Hands are close together. Anytime you're narrow like that, you're shorting yourself because you're, you, you don't have the, the wide, strong, athletic base. There, now he's getting better. Now he's dialed in. Keeping everything as straight as possible is gonna be the key to the balance. The minute something goes outside the lines, you gotta struggle. Maybe you should be going with a large shirt, that's medium. It's tough to get over, but he wides his feet out, so that's a solid move at the top. Way to keep control. I like it. Yeah, this is this is tough from the jump. Cheating? Having a tank top? I don't know. All right, let's look at this. Right out of the gate, the body position is wrong. Too far away, feet too close, shirt's far away. This just looks ill-fated. Pause it there. I see the hip shooting way out to the side, which means, you know, body's going to want to follow. Get up tall, have a shot. Even with the tank top, which has to be easier because you're not navigating those sleeves. And uh, boom. That might have just been upper body strength right there. It's hard to tell. Disadvantageous right out of the gate by being so far away that angle doesn't help. Narrow feet, hip shooting out. I'm not a betting man, but if I were to bet, I would have bet that was going to fail. But it means you get to come back and try it again. I'm going to make all my kids dress like that before school. All right, the handstand t-shirt challenge. Is it safe? So I would say if you're going to do this, make sure the area around you is clear. Pick an open space where if, God forbid, you do fall, uh, you won't injure yourself further. If it's on a carpet, make sure it's a carpet, not a rug, so it's not going to slip out from under you. Is it safe? Yeah, I mean, it's safe depending on, on your level of strength. I mean, the worst that can happen is it's a failed handstand. It's a fun little cute way to challenge people to do something that promotes upper body strength, right? And if you can't get your shirt on, at least hold the handstand pose, maybe drop down a little bit and, and throw a couple shoulder presses in there. There's nothing wrong with it. Harmless, fun, and definitely something that had to be born uh, during a lockdown, right? Thank you for tuning in with me. Thanks for watching this. Let's keep at it, right? I'm, I'm going to get started right now. It's just, I'm gone.